be sad and tell me all your thoughts on God cause I really like to meet her and ask her y'all um so sorry i look a little funky i'm in my pajamas uh but anyway um i had to redo a quick intro for this video and i'm going to make it as quick as possible but i wanted to make a crafting video um one that you don't see too often and uh, one that i've wanted to do for a while actually i've always wanted to make one of these and that would be a corn husk doll um sure it's something that it's probably usually done around the bone, but um, I actually made this about two weeks ago. It was the beginning of October, so this was my one of my new uh, Samhain crafts. Um, so basically, uh, what you'll need to make this doll is you'll need corn husks, a bowl of water. Uh, when you get your corn husks, um, you'll want to keep, if you can, if you have the option, you'll want to keep the little fibers on the that comes on the end of the corn uh, for hair uh, you'll want so corn husks warm water scissors thread hot glue towel and cardstock all right okay so let's get started so this is the reason why you need water uh, you need to let your corn husks soak for at about five to ten minutes depending on you know how dried out they are and how well they'll soak up water but this just makes them basically bendy and pliable um, less likely to rip and stuff on you while you're making the dolls after they've soaked you need to get a towel or uh, some kind of paper towel I'm using a towel I figured that would help better and you need to pat the husks dry. Okay, so step one. Sorry if you see my charger wire. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get some thinner husks, or what I did is I just took one large husk and cut it in half. Um, and we're going to lay them like so, and we're going to take some of our thread and we're going to tie the middle. The middle. So we tie that in the middle like that. Now, these are going to serve as the doll's arms. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim about yay much off. We basically just want the ends to be flat. So I'm going to go ahead and trim the ends off. Okay, so now what we're going to do, sorry I'm shaking, is you've got your arms here and you've got them cut evenly on both ends. So now what we're going to do is you want two thinner husks again. Once again, this is just one that I split in two. And you're going to want to point them away from your arm, from the inside of your arms. So point away, if you see what I'm saying. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and also trim the ends of these husks to make them um, flat or even-ended. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put these at the ends of our arms and you want one on both sides so it'll end up being like this and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to tie we're going to tie a thread or string around the bottom of what's going to be our hand um, so we'll go ahead and do that and I'll come 
Okay, so, um, just as you guys can see, I already did one side, so there's half of the arm. And here's the other half where I started, and the points are pointing out. So this is the other end of the arm. So then what we're going to do, after that's tied there, see if I can do this with one hand, is you're going to fold these back. Like so. And you're going to tie them in the middle again. So you'll have another hand poking out there. And a couple words of advice. Let me do both ends here. Um, it's better to overdo than to not have enough. So like, I've got more hand here than I do here. But that's fine because I can always trim this up. And some more advice is, especially if you're working with thread like I am. Um, by the way, I found my scissors. Yay! Those are kitchen shears actually, but it still works. <laughs> um, if you're working with thread like I am, um, double knotting is smart. Uh, I actually had a hard time with this one because I thought I had it tied and it actually came untied. So. I'm going to go ahead and finish this because I can't do it with two hand, one hand. And then I'll show you finished product and tell you what's next. Alrighty. So, sorry again that I'm so shaky. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now you have your finished arms. You, of course, will have some excess husk um, to trim off. But that's fine because that's actually, we'll use every little bit of it. So now you want to get your excess husk. And if you don't have a lot of that, you can pull out like I'm about to, some more husk. And basically, you're going to want to wad all this husk up into a ball. Um, it's basically going to serve as stuffing for the head. Um, mine's still a little wet. I probably should have dried it a little better. But um, if it helps to trim some of it up, that's fine. But you're basically going to wad all of it up into a ball to the, about the size you want your head to be, which I may need a little bit more, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe not. Let's see if we can. But anyway, after you get your wad of husk, you're going to want two large husks. And you're going to Okay, just an, as an example, this is the wad, the ball wad, okay, of little husks. You're going to place the wad of husks in the big husk, and you're going to fold it down one way, and then you're going to get another husk. I know, this is so bad because I'm only, I've only got one hand, and I'm sorry for that, but then you're going to get another husk, and you're going to do it the other way. So it'll be like this, basically. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's a really bad example. So you'll fold it ball this way and then fold it again this way. So it'll be like head, like that. And you're going to tie it at the base of the neck. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll show you a cleaner version of what it looks like. Alright, so this is a little bit more of what the head should look like. <laughs> uh, mine's still a little messy, but that's okay. So now what you're going to do is you're basically going to split these bottom husks in two. And you're going to slide the arms up there. Get them about as even as you can right up there and then you're gonna tie a thread right under the arms just like that so see there under husks on both sides and you're gonna tie right under the arms like that so I'll do that real quick Oops. alright so now you should have this and then if you want a bodice, which some people might, some people may not, 
I'm gonna do a bodice because I want her to look pretty sophisticated decently sophisticated she is a lady after all you take skinnier husks or thinner husks and you crisscross them so one like that and then of course one like this I may have to cut one down or try and find a smaller one and then you tie them on the bottom so one like this one like this and tie at the bottom I'll do that for you and then I will show you the next step okay so now you should have your waist pretty much like that now the next step is we're gonna redo we're gonna revisit uh, kinda like we did with the arms and the sleeves uh, we're gonna make the skirt so now you want to get some of your wider husks now my dolly's probably gonna take about two of them maybe we'll see how it works and then you want to reverse them up and we're going to tie them once again around the waist and then after we tie them around the waist we'll fold them over what we tied and uh, we may have depending on how well your husks fold over we may have to do a sash which I think I'm going to do a sash anyway but I'll show you what it looks like okay so after you fold the husks down um, you can trim the bottom to kind of make the skirt a little more even and then if yours is like mine which it probably will be um, and the skirt doesn't want to stay down um, this is where the hot glue comes in you can trim off a little piece of husk and fold your skirt down and then you can hot glue a sash around her waist to hold your skirt down and then just hot glue it in the back or on the side and you'll also need hot glue to glue your uh, your silk on as hair so yeah and that's how you make a corn husk doll if you wanted to make a male um, which mine wasn't you know mine's a little too tall to do that but if you wanted to make a male you could trim that down and uh, you could uh, theoretically make a weight another uh, pelvis probably and then uh, instead of a skirt you could do legs so yeah um, now first off I know you didn't get to see I didn't get a chance to record the hat portion uh, basically all the hat is is you cut a circle of cardstock out and then you basically hot glue um, corn husks on top or across the uh, cardstock and then you'll get your ends of corn husks that are pointy and you'll actually glue them to that and then you're supposed to lift them up and tie them at the top now obviously I did not do a very good job on this. also um, right after I was done I sat my dog on the shelf um, which I would advise you to leave your doll out lay her out to dry uh, so that way your skirt doesn't get all crazy like mine did but anyway so that is the witchy corn husk doll. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I hope everyone has a blessed Samhain.